Okay, so here we are in the dashboard. Um, first thing you need to know is this is the dashboard and this is where you'll come to as soon as you log in, which I'm sure you knew already. So um, one of the first things I want to show you is how to create a new page on Optimize Press. It's really simple. You basically scroll down to Optimize Press, click this box, and then scroll down to Page Builder. It'll then load this page and it'll ask you for the URL. So we're just going to put a test URL. You can test to make sure you haven't used it already by clicking click check availability. So that's available, um, pretty obvious. Um, scrolling down, you can use what they have pre-installed, which is some content templates, or you can start from scratch. I'd recommend using a content template because there are loads of options down here, landing pages, etc. I generally just pick any old one um, suited to what I'm trying to achieve. So if I just go for home page, they can all be manipulated anyway. So just scroll down to the bottom and go to proceed step two. Okay, uh, what it's then gonna do is load you into what's called the live editor. Here's where you can make uh, pretty much live changes to your site. Uh, so if it is live, you can just edit, go in and change colors, change elements, etc. So as you can see, as I hover over each and every one of these, what they call elements, um, they have these little boxes that appear. So if I simply wanted to edit any of these, I'd click on this little pencil, I'd go in, and I can actually select the text that I want to change. I'll put this is how you change text. And you can change the headline. Uh, you can scroll down to here, you can change the size, so you could maybe make it smaller. You can change the color, so let's go for red. We can change all these settings and you can play about with the spacing between letters here. Um, there's so many options that you can play about with. Bold, italic, style, thin, completely up to you. You can change alignment, um, a few other options down here, padding, etc. I don't play with them too much if I'm honest, but um, all you do is click insert and you'll see that it's changed that headline. So there we go, that's how you change headlines. Um, exactly the same for text and all these elements you can change by simply going in and clicking the pencil. If you want to move any element, let's just say you don't want this opt-in box here, you wanted it up here for some reason, you simply click and drag it and you just drag it into this area here video if you want to change the video simply click on the little pencil and it will ask you whether or not you want to use a url so you could use a url from youtube or an embed code so if you're using youtube you can grab the embed code from the video you like and then paste it in here you can also set up custom dimensions here so you can play about with the width and the height. It's completely up to you what you want to do. You can add padding again, you can add a border. Um, so if we wanted to change this color of this border, we might go red. Let's go red on this border. Uh, let's make it 15 pixels. We're going to align it center and we're going to click insert and it's going to put a red border around our video. As you can see, really easy to use. If I want to add any extra new features, I simply scroll down to the bit that I want to um, add something into and click add element. So let's just say I wanted to add some arrows. I click on arrows and then I'd pick the arrow which I like. So I scroll down here, I'm just gonna pick any old arrow and I'm gonna click that and I'm gonna click left and then I'm gonna click insert really really easy so let's just say you had something you want to draw attention to here you could actually um, just put an arrow to it <laughs> it's completely up to you and you can keep on adding elements you can scroll down you can add um, so many things here you can add countdown timers and um, let's just say you're creating a, an opt-in page a landing page you can put countdown timers in there and uh, redirect URLs um, and obviously I haven't set this up but it will count down I've used it on webinars before when I'm counting down to a webinar and all this stuff can all be changed now you'll notice these little things that say add new row um, add new row here add new row allows you to split the page up to separate sections so like this 
section here has a background color for this row. So if I went into here, you can see it has a background color. I can change the background color. Uh, let's just go over here. Let's go something yellow. <laughs> and let's, um, let's start it at yellow and then filter it into green. So it will start yellow and then filter into green. So you change the background cover. You'll also notice um, a lot of websites have these pictures in the background. You can actually select a file and then send it as the background. Just go into your media library, uh, select the actual image you like. Um, let's just take any old one for now. Uh, we'll use this one and all you do is click insert into post. You choose your size and insert into post. And what I'll do is I'll click this drop down and cover stroke stretch stretch your background image to fit so it'll stretch to the width of the screen and you'll see it go white now and then it will update or it should update okay it hasn't gone white but if I click um, save and continue it will then save that and if I view it as a public link it should have the background there we go so you can see it's changed the background you'll notice it's quite pixelated so it's a good idea to make sure you get the right image size for that um, the actual width of this page so you can see the edge of this opt-in box all the way down all the way to the edge of this contact um, contact tab here is 960 pixels wide I think this if you get images that are around 1200 you should be alright providing the resolution of the screen the person's working on um, is no greater than 1200 so um, that's up to you you can play about with that and so that's live preview um, you can then edit any page by clicking edit page and it will take you back into the live editor again simply click launch now and it will launch the live editor and again you can go in and start making changes as you see fit in here okay so I'm just going to uh, just going to save and close that page and I'm going to take you into this site um, where you can see exactly how things are set up so if you need to change them so if I go to the home page and I go uh, live editor by clicking here it's going to open up the live editor Now I'll start from the top and work my way down. Uh, you'll see we've got these uh, tabs at the top where we've got a menu. And all I'm going to do is go into layout settings at the top left here and go down to header and navigation. You'll see that I have a logo here. It's actually just a piece of white space that I've added. And then you'll see the links which you see over to the right hand side here, just to the right of them. You can add a banner in there. So if you've got a a header that you want to apply uh, you can do that as well but for me I just stick with this and I'll just put a blank space in there or if I have a logo I'll add it in there as well um, you can upload the logo and um, here you can change the background color obviously I'm using a white background with a white piece of space so I just leave this at white scroll down these are turned off and then it says here navigation bar alongside logo here it asks you to select the menu which you want to um, which you want to use. I set up a menu for the footer and the main tabs for the site. And obviously, if you want no menu, then you can turn off the menu. You can set the text type here. Uh, Sans uh, Source Sans Pro. You can change text size. All this is editable. Uh, really easy to use, as you can see. Moving down to the footer area, I'll show you this now as we're in this page. Again, you can choose a menu from the uh, drop down box and you can change uh, your sizes to suit you there as well. There is a footer disclaimer which I've added where you'll see your address in here and you can actually change that as you see fit. And you'll see that change once you click update and it will return to the live editor. The screen will go white and if you've made any changes then that will be reflected within this. So as you can see, really, really simple. Right, if we start moving down the page we'll see we've got a background image in the background. I'm going to show you, because you can see this seems to stick, this background image. I'm going to show you what you need to change if you want to change that background image. We go into page settings on the left and we go into other scripts. This is a piece of CSS script, um, I wouldn't get too caught up on it, what it means, uh, but basically all you need to do is the first image, which is this brick image, is this URL here. 
So if you ever want to change this, all you need to do, as I'll show you, you need to come out of here, and we'll close that down. Come out of here, you need to go into media, you need to add new, or oh, in this case we're not actually going to add something, we're actually just going to take an existing URL. So let's just say for example you've uploaded a URL, you've uploaded an image. That image will have a URL on your site which is here. And if I wanted to put this image as the background, all I'd do is copy that, Control C or Command C if you're on a Mac, go back to my pages, go and find my home page, Go to edit, launch now. And then what I'll do is go back over to page settings, other scripts, scroll down to where I could find that piece of CSS. And all I will do is change this address here from HTTP all the way to JPG and paste that new URL in there, so control V there or right click and paste. I'm just going to undo that because I don't want to change that on this website. And it's exactly the same for the image further down, which I'll show you in a minute. Same URL, you simply change the URL in here. Really, really easy stuff. Okay, so I'm just going to close that down. Um, scrolling down, you can see we have headlines in here. As I showed you earlier, simply click the pencil to change the headline, and you can do this for all of this. Um, you'll see in here another pencil. You can change this picture out. Um, you can do it for the video. You can change the video uh, by just changing the embed code. Simply click on the pencil, and it'll open up this editor. You can change this embed code. You can change the size, you can change the margins, you can change the alignment. There's so many options here that you can actually change. Here what you'll see is what's called an optimize overlay. It's basically a button with a pop-out box. And this pop-out box is fully editable. As you can see, if I click on any of these parts here, I can change the color, I can change the percentage, I can change the text which is shown and all I do is click insert to update it. You'll notice here we have something called a spacer. Now a spacer basically does what it says on the tin. It gives you extra space between two elements. So if something's looking a bit too congested, I can actually just click on this and change the number of pixels that separate the two elements. So if I put that to 50 and then I clicked insert, it would actually just increase the space here as you can see there. For me, I'm just going to take that back and I'm just going to go 20, not 2, 19, 20, and click insert and that will restore the original. Here is what's called an opt in form. So if you click on this, this has been fully integrated into your Aweber. This code here was taken from an Aweber form in your Aweber account, which you'd have set up. Or I'd have set up. <laughs> um, and all I've done is disable the name. If I wanted to enable the name, the name, I just untick that box, and it would ask them for the name in the opt-in box. Really, really simple. On the content side of things, you can change the header that it displays. I removed the privacy notice because I actually um, put it in another text box underneath, and you simply ask them for the email address in the box that you've set up. Uh, submit button, you can change this text here. So if I wanted to change it, uh, so if I put get instant access, I could and just put a couple things like that. You can do that as well. Um, but I'm just going to leave it as get started now. You can change the text size, you can change the styling, again you can change the pictures, you can change the height, the width, so many options here that you can play about with. And all I do is click insert and that will reinsert that. You can see that I've put a little text box in here and that's how I've uh, entered the privacy setting and put it really tight up against this box here. So that's as far as I'm going to go on this video, that's the first part of the video. And um, What I'll do is I'll record a second part and I'll, um, I'll let you digest that and hopefully that will really help you. If you've got any questions please let me know. Thanks for listening and I'll see you soon for another video. Bye for now.